1983, I left rural Kansas for an internship at the Museum of the American Indian in New York City. And my new boss met me when I first got there and very excitedly took me over to the Potawatomi case uh, into a ground floor exhibits. And she asked me to look at it and to give her feedback on it. So I said, okay. So I'm looking in the exhibit case and it was interesting. There was a lot of things from my community back home. One of the things there was a blouse. We call them satchkins. And the satchkin um, is a traditional blouse worn by several different tribes in the Midwest. And I have about five of them at home. My grandmother's sisters made my first one for me. And anyway, I was looking at the blouse and I thought, that's interesting. They've got it pinned with the front of the blouse to the wall so that you can see the back of the blouse. Okay, that's interesting. And the next case over from a neighboring tribe was another satchkin. It was also pinned with the back of the blouse showing. I thought, okay. And in the very next case over was another satchkin. And it was on a mannequin. And it was on backwards. So when I first saw that, because this was a big museum, my first thought for just a split second was, have I been wearing my blouse wrong? Then I realized, these people don't know what they're doing. <laughs> and since they asked me what I thought about the exhibit, I told them. I said, the blouses are on backwards. And you know what they said? Can you prove it? And proof to them would have been something documented by a white person. So as a, it was very clear back then that Native people were not the experts in our own culture.